What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bad Epic. Today we got three truth, mysterious horror stories animated. Ah, animated. You know, stories. You know, you know these stories be animated. You know, they be scary. You know what I'm saying? They be scary. They be a little scary. They just be a little scary. But let's get right to the video. Back in 2012, when I was four, me and my mom okay. and stepdad lived in an apartment. That thing's tall. It was good until one night. I went to sleep on the couch, and my yep. mom was in the chair. We were okay. watching some boring show, so I was <laughs> Boring show. At around 2.30 a.m., I was woken up by something touching me, Ooh. but it wasn't my mom. Ooh. There was something in the couch. I would have got scared, bro. screaming, and then the hand went away. My Boy, mom, I'm telling you. Awake, ran to check on me. I told her what happened, and she didn't believe me. She just told me to go back to bed. Scared, bro. I told her I was afraid. Why is he sleeping on the couch anyways, though? Until my stepdad came back. Fast forward a few weeks later. <sighs> the night I laid back on the couch. Okay, the couch. At around 1 a.m., something kept touching me again. Bro, I'm to the hour. I screamed, and my mom and stepdad ran to check on me. I don't care, bro. I would have sleep with my mom and stepdad, man. I would, I would have to do it. I'm not for sleeping on no couch or no hand touching me, bro. Yeah, hey, that's part of the, that's part of the hand I try to get your butt, the booty booty hand. Try to try to dig, try to get little them little fingers inside your little butt. I don't know. I don't know. Me. I told them what happened again. And my mom again didn't believe me. Why well, didn't believe you? Did. Later on that night, me and my stepdad were here, on ball. the two lazy boy chairs and were watching Family Guy. <laughs> Family Guy. My stepdad dozed off, and I was about to as well. But then something caught my eye. Ooh! There were hands sticking you out want your the butt? Couch. I was so shocked I couldn't scream. Well, I'll tell you, man. My stepdad woke and saw the blank expression on my face and saw what I was. For real? I would have killed that thing, bro. Like me. The hands were waving, and then we Ooh, heard chill a out. voice. Chill out. It said in a deep voice, "One to hold my hand." Whoa. I screamed at the top of my lungs Whoa. after it said that to me and my stepdad. I'm not for the whole hand booty scratcher. We ran out of the living room and into my mom's room. We explained what happened, and my mom was in shock. We stayed at a motel that night. The next day, we went back to... Ain't, ain't, ain't he the, um... Ain't he the man, bro? Why are you so scared like that? He put to check it out. He put to throw hands up. That's what he's supposed to be doing. But he was too scared, bro. The fingers wanted that booty, bro. I'm telling you, they, they, he wanted a booty. We pack our stuff, and we left the creepy place. To this day, I still don't know what that was Boy, that me and my stepdad saw. I already live in a motel, man. I'm telling you. Demonic, and I never want to see it again. Oh. That was just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about that. I was five years old when this happened. My father always took me to this doctor. I okay. quote the word doctor because personally, I don't think he was a real doctor. <laughs> I would take you a doctor. Went a lot, but mainly we Why is he speeing though? He would even take it to his, the place his basement. All sorts of SpongeBob items laying around. Ooh, nah, that's, that's not right. There, but since I was so young, that's I not right. entirely questioned it. The doctor was a tall black man who always wore a suit. A black man? Why had to be a black man? Went, did be the same thing. Had to be he a black bro. Blood, give me around five or seven shots, and some shots I was even pinned down for. My dad and uncle were usually the ones who took me. No. Was never there. The room we went in for the so-called appointment nah. would always be so Why weird and creepy. Why is he down like that? It always had extremely dull lighting. Now, before Sunday, continue, right? This place looked and felt like an actual prison. For real? It was Why is this gate? And those barbed wire fences surrounding it. One way in and one way out. When I started kindergarten, no, I don't trust that, bro. the visits were stopped. They're going to freak around, put a, a tracker inside your, your body, and they'll, they'll come and get you. I don't, see, that's you can be trusting in these places, bro. That's that type of place, like, like they say you land down, right? The doctor, they, they'll put you to sleep, then you a shot. Man, they put they open your the blood up and put a put a tracker inside your they open it up. You you wake up in an hour. They gonna be like, you good to go? Go. Want a popsicle? That's what they do. Then then they find where you at. They catch you. We never went again. Around the time I started middle school, 
My dad put that place down as my doctor and my emergency contact. Even when but that's the creepy, man. My doctor's office. His anymore. eyes closed. Look at him. To this day, my dad, uncle, and my mother, who was aware of these things that were happening, do not remember this place at all. That's I crazy. It to them thousands of times, some more detailed than others. They 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 ejecting zombie blood in you. The only one who remembers, and I can't remember the name since I was so young. <laughs> so please be aware of your surroundings. Please be aware. With you. For real, please. The scarecrow. Oh, let's get it. The scarecrow. Let's this see. This is the story my grandmother told me when I was nine years old, and it still gives me goosebumps. <laughs> I love to listen to stories, even though I'd usually get scared. However, uh, hey, the story I'm wrong with that, though. Explain is by far the scariest. There was once a boy. Let's call his name Timothy. Uh, he had a habit of taking fruits and vegetables from the neighbor's garden along with his friends. <laughs> that boy mad. Look at him in the back. Look. They were always late. That boy mad. The parents, but I take the fruits too. I want the, the fruits look fresh. One day, they decided to steal from an old lady around eighty-five. Nah, I was there for an elder. Come on, man. The old lady had maize and fruits in the garden. Timothy jumped over the fence. Chill out, bro. Followed along. It's like, it's just turn around with that thing and slap your little neck off. Followed by the sounds of dry leaves. Why do you got black eyes? Over them. The old lady remained on the spot, which was surprising, as they could be murderers. <laughs> Timothy and the gang began to harvest the fruits until they saw the silhouette. Okay. To their surprise, it wasn't the silhouette of a person, but some Ooh, what's that? Nah, I don't trust that, bro. When they don't go through. The creature in front of them, Ooh. they were paralyzed. Run! In front of them. Oh. The living scarecrow crawling from the What the, the fuck? They couldn't run away because they were already stiff. It what the fuck? It dawned on them. The no. old lady was actually a witch. Sunday right. Her husband. Sunday right, man. The scarecrow from his flesh. Sunday's not right, bro. No one knows what the old lady did. You should never jump that gate, bro. She never went in there. She never went in there, man. It's over. Come on, man. She never winning that, man. Come on, man. Oh, is it? Is it for the video, y'all? Is it for three true? But is it for the horse on horror story video, man? See, I, I, why did they jump that gate? Why did they jump that gate, man? I'm trying to just steal from the old lady. You know, you know, you know, something there, right? Cause she just been over this like that. Like you know, something there, right, bro? I'd be, I'd be shocked. I'd be like, what's going on? I want to jump the gate and try to steal. But Ziffa feel like, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Ziffa, um, Detroit Mysterious Horror Story Animated, man.